Let's talk about our moral compass. To most this is a lost concept, and sadly society has borne the brunt of this loss. The good news is, I know where mine is, and more importantly, where it points. Now we must help others find theirs. Come Thursday, please vote for William X. Ronson or your local candidate of my party. We need you, and the country needs you. Together we shall rediscover and write the country's collective moral compass. Deliver us a mandate, and we shall effect radical change. Thank you. Friday morning, I'm in. Foregone conclusion. I'm more concerned about your end. Is, is PR ready? Another video. Live. And he'll be watching. Great. This one will be more... Uh, nuclear. <laughs> you and the boys are all packed. Hmm? Yes, Jane. Just remember that dress with the count. Really? Hey, Billy. You're back again. We must talk. Seriously. Who's that? A dude you don't want to know. Yet. You're not going to change my mind on this. You were wrong about my marriage. Were we? And you're wrong about this. Dead wrong. Unbelievably wrong. Well then, let's have an argument. Okay. You make us sick. You sit there making your videos, spouting slogans, lying to people's faces, trying to convince them to adopt a philosophy that has no ideological base whatsoever. Just to get a job to represent those you hate. I like my electorate. You're a misanthrope. By definition, you hate your electorate. What's with the raincoat? I'm wearing it to appeal to your family-friendly side. What a crop. Who are you? His identity isn't important. Who you are is. I've changed since we last met. I find myself. The hell you have. That ring on your finger hasn't killed your philosophies, politics or perversions. It's just made you more eager to please your new authority figures. You still want to be the superstar, to live the bohemian way. You still want to tear the walls down. And that's not going to happen while being daddy-in-law's little political plaything. I am nobody's political plaything. Then why are you standing in the same as a seat? Making videos that pander to an electorate that only votes the way they do because that's what their parents did. Because daddy in law wants laws to change for his benefit. And you're the best person for the job. Or so he thinks. No. No. You are wrong. If we are wrong about marriage, then why do you want to vote on what goes on in people's bedrooms? Damn it, that's cheap. But accurate. Who is this pig? Oh, quit trying to change the subject, because you're losing the argument. When elected, are you willing to do business with a man that boils his political prisoners to death? <laughs> what? Well, that is ridiculous. When elected, are you prepared to stay silent in the face of blatant genocide? Because you don't want to upset partisan party backers? Well, when elected, are you prepared to sacrifice every philosophy and every conviction you've ever believed in in order to climb the ladder? Yes. And do you want to hear why? By all means. All is not good and great in my future career. 
The system is broken. It needs talented people to fix it. I'm talent. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get into the position to effect radical change for the better. This country needs people like me, and it needs them by any means necessary. Balls. I'll tell you it's not. We don't believe you. I don't think you even believe you. However, we are willing to compromise. Compromise? <laughs> you are not negotiating with me. No, you are not. Now, out. We are, and you do well to listen. We know you have a political streak in you. However, you have not yet discovered your ideology. That's why we're simply asking you to rescind your candidacy. Let your rival, that Bible-thumping biddy with the cats represent these fools, go develop an ideology, then pick a constituency where you need to earn every vote. Be honest and true, and we'll be silent. Or we'll be forced to act. Act? We're not prepared to let you go through this fakery. It's in the front of democracy and the soul. Now, just hold on here. Remember who you're talking to. I do you do as we ask, or we'll take decisive action that'll lower your societal standing and increase your level of living. I'd like that to happen, frankly. Never. You are not the boss of me. Now, get out. Think on. Make the right decision. You don't want to see me again. Leave now. And never come back. That decision is entirely yours. I really want to talk about our opponent's disgraceful loss of moral compass on crime. But first I want to say this. All priests should have carnal knowledge of children. Hitler didn't get enough Jews. They got off too light. If he liked it, I'll bring back stoning. Pregnant teenagers should be hung. All benefit claimants should be sterilised. All blacks should be lobotomised. Do you know what they call most people like me? Religious. I am a human hand puppet whose sole goal is to enact nuclear holocaust. Repeat. I am a human hand puppet whose sole goal is to enact nuclear holocaust. You people are all sheep. You should have seen me coming. You should all now drink sarin. <laughs> the world would be smarter without you. <laughs> I like who I am. <laughs> <laughs> 